What's up, Spooky? Um, quick demo video for you for your Fallen Saber. Um, this has had a little bit of a journey. You've been waiting on it for a while. Uh, this first went off to my boy Benji over at Nerf Herder Customs, and he did the amazing weathering job on this. I'll just show that off. He always does an amazing job on these guys. Um, so yeah, first went off to Benji. He weathered it, sent it over to me, and then um, I just finished installing it today, right? Um, it's installed with a Profi B2. Uh, it's got uh, CC Sabres LEDs for the main pixels here. Uh, two button setup, right? So your big switch here, that's your activation, and then your little tactile switch, 180 degrees from it, that's your auxiliary switch down here. Um, to get to everything, we just want to unscrew the handle. Uh, this is an extremely tight fit in this guy. Um, I threw a lot of stuff in a little bit of space. So, um, you'll see that when you get it, but everything fits. All right, so we unscrew the handle, take this off. Here's your chassis. Uh, it does say fall in order right here in Arabesh. Uh, removable battery system, so spring side, your negative. Um, you can get to your profi board, or, for, or I'm sorry, to your micro USB from here. I programmed the board from here, um, so you don't have to move the chassis that way. But if you want to get to your SD card, you are going to have to slide this chassis out. And how you do that is you take off this bottom greebly right here. Um, when you take that bottom greebly off, there's three set screws. And you only want to loosen the one that's over on this side, you know, right here next to this corner. It's silver, and that is your chassis retention. Uh, the other two are holding this coupler on, so you don't want to take those off or loosen those. So pop this guy off, loosen that screw. You can pull this out, although it's super tight, so you're going to have to be careful. And you can pull it out, uh, pop your board up, do what you need to do, and then slide it back into place. Just make sure when you slide it back into place that everything is lined up with the switch. So if I can show you like this, right? Your battery cradle, your board, everything is straight in line with this main switch because the two tactiles for your switches, they are on my chassis, they're not stationary in the Sabre. So, uh, so because of that, this thing needs to slide in exactly how it came out, right? And then you just E6000 this back. Um, so that's the board area right there. Um, then it says uh, Solo Sabres over here for me. Um, smokers outpost emblem um, you've got the main or this added uh, this added pixel accent for your pummel area which is something I like to do here right uh, so I've got that on there but everything is super tight we'll throw a battery in go ahead and take the uh, sticker to your battery and put it down inside the chassis I've been waiting for this day for a long time just like that and then we can take the handle and put it on I gave you motion controls. I messed with the config that you sent me uh, to make this a two button setup. I also had to go back and add the programming for the pommel accent. Uh, what, what else did I do? And I took a few of the sound fonts off that you had in your package because of the space that my pommel accent coding was taking up. Um, I left most of them on. I think I only took off about five. All right, so we tighten this handle all the way down. Looking good there. That's what you got for your pommel. And we'll do this on every sound font because I just like to have that going like that. Like the broken circuitry, right? Like super loud. Auxiliary. Twist off. Or you can use the activation button. And then tap it again and turn it off. And then uh, just hold it down for one second and let go to get to your soundtrack. And you can hear how just loud this thing is. And then do that again and turn it off. It, it sounds gnarly. Now this takes a one inch diameter blade. I'm gonna use my small test blade here because the blade socket on this guy is super tight. Um, I don't quite have my other blade sanded down enough yet to fit into this. So because of that, I'm not even gonna use your chest or your blade retention. But your blade retention is right here. That's that screw right there in case you ever need it.
So you got battle mode. You'll see that better on a full length blade. You'll see it about right in the middle of your blade. But if you hit the blade or the saber, it initiates blade lock up. You'll see it about right here. And it will stay like that until you pull away from it. And we'll go to the next sound font. You have to get rid of. So oh, you can see you can see everything's working like it should. We'll go ahead and take the blade out. Super tight, it pops out. And then uh, just to get the battery out, we'll just do the same thing. We'll unscrew the handle. just like that. And then come over here from the positive side and you can pop it out with your finger. Comes out just like that. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So this is your saber. Um, let me know if you got any questions. If not, um, I will try to get this out in the mail to you tomorrow morning.